I, I knew who were these guys and I, I thought I was going insane. I, I thought I would die and to be honest with you guys I thought that everything was over What is up guys? Druf is here. I hope you're doing fine guys. In this video I will tell you my story of my biggest, my scariest injury ever in my life. It was a neck injury but before we continue guys please make sure you subscribe, become a part of our awesome family, the most powerful family on YouTube. Also check out the Druf Power merchandise, link in the description down below. Only if you want to add more Druf Power in your life. From where should I start actually? Alright, I will start from the beginning. In this story, I will be completely honest with you guys, so already my apologies for what you are going to witness. So, it was 2017, it was July, I just came back from the Netherlands. I came on vacation here in my hometown, Elena, and like every time I was arriving in the evening, and every time in the evening I was going with my friends to drink. That was something like a ritual, and it was always when I came back from the Netherlands the first day. So, we drank a lot of vodka, and and then we went to the club. We were pretty wasted like <laughs> as always. Kids don't do alcohol. It's very bad for you. It's really bad. Anyways, we were in the club. We <laughs> drank more. And then I went to the toilet and there was one man who was walking towards me and I was like, oh my god, he's going to push me. I was walking next to the wall like this and eventually he pushed me with his arm like this and I was like, sorry man. And there is where it began. He started saying bad stuff about me, about my family, out of nowhere, man. I, I even said sorry to him and back then I had some problems some private problems with my father and he started speaking about him that I'm the same like him and I I'm actually when I'm drunk I'm very happy I, I'm the most positive man in the world but back then I became a little bit mad because he was speaking for five or ten minutes and I couldn't hold it anymore and I told him please man go away please go away and when I saw his back guys I became so angry I don't know why I just don't know why so there was one glass door and I put it. it was pretty hard the door the glass was pretty strong but I have the drift bar <laughs> I got this car from there also because of this car I met my girlfriend in the pharmacy anyways we went to the hospital then I went home I slept for maybe 12 hours I woke up and I didn't feel good I lost a lot of blood probably one liter or something like this I wasn't feeling okay I went for a walk with a good friend of mine and I was like I was like scared from something like I was in depression and I didn't know for what was it I, I I thought it was depression because I didn't want to push the door and I felt a little bit guilty but then in the night we wanted to go to another city to Veliko Ternovo if you watch the vlogs you know where Veliko Ternovo is and we went with the car and in the dark I was just scared of the darkness I don't know how to explain you this but it was so scary for me I got also like panic attack or something like that and I told my friend please man let's go back to Elena because I don't feel okay I don't feel all right after this day the things became very very hard scary actually then after two days i went to see vacation with my friends and there was everything was so scary there guys the first day when we arrived to this sea vacation I thought I'm very tired and I slept for a few hours but still I wasn't feeling very good and I didn't know what was happening actually. Then the next day we went to the beach, we made the vlog, the vlog was crazy, few fans met me there. We went also to the trampolines at the beach there. The day was awesome guys. When we came back home at 4 p.m. I started training more corks, double corks. It was crazy day man. And then everything started guys. I remember I was speaking to my friends and just for a moment it was like clicking in my head and I couldn't recognize them like for one second but for me it was like like five minutes then it's clicking again and I'm back and I'm like what the hell just happened guys and I thought it was only in my head and the worst was when I was really tired then the injury and the tiredness combined and it was scary guys and still I didn't know from where was coming this we went to the club I didn't drink any alcohol at the club I don't take any drugs after the club it was like 5 a.m. and we went back to the rented house everyone fell in sleep but I was stressing so much guys I didn't know what I was doing there I didn't know from where I know these guys but I knew them it was it's very strange but I didn't know who were these guys but I, I knew who were these guys and I, I thought I was going insane I, I thought I would die and to be honest with you guys I thought that everything was over then I fell in sleep too and when I woke up I had a 
panic attack but this panic attack was the worst and now I can control my panic attacks and I can control my whole mind and body with the trainings I did and with the books I read but back then I couldn't control it so I started stressing out and my friend brought me to the hospital and what I'm explaining now to you I explained this to the doctor and he was like boy are you taking some drugs i was like no i am not taking any drugs i haven't done any drugs and he was like are you sure <laughs> i was like yeah i'm sure anyways we did the cliff jumping then we went back and when we went back here guys i was so tired because of the cliff jumping and then with the travel for three hours i was dying in the evening guys i i, I really didn't know that this was my city I didn't know what was happening again and again and again and it was scary I, I just I just don't know what happened I didn't upload the videos on the next day because I had some health problems I went to the hospital then it was time for the Scottish power gathering and I was considering not to go because well because of my mental health but I decided to go and the second day of the Scottish gathering I had to go to the pharmacy and take some pills because I was stressing so much I, I was really going to die and everything what I told back then it was because I lost a lot of blood and I thought I was depressed so I went back to the Netherlands and I thought everything will be alright everything will be fine but then for a few moments I couldn't recognize my mother it was like again clicking I was like what the hell who is this woman but I knew it was my mother but it, it was like I don't know then it was clicking back and I was like I, I'm just going insane. I, I'm going mental. I will never forget how I was watching my hands. I was looking at them like this and I was like, oh my god, are these really my hands? My, my, my arms? Is this real? Also, I couldn't look at myself at the mirror because I, 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 I was confused. I, I knew it was me, but it, it, it wasn't me. Also, one very scary moment of this story is, guys, I asked for help at my college and they, they were like, all right, we are going to help you. I had to go to psychologist. I'm not sure how you say this in English. And I was so happy that they were helping me. And I went outside the college the same day, the same hour. And I was like so happy that I will get help and I will be back to my, to, to, to myself. And I was unlocking my bicycle. And then again the click came into my mind and I was like, wait a second, but I, I'm not sick, why do I need help? What is happening again? And th that was very scary moment guys. I didn't know what to do and I started praying. I was asking God every night to help me and well after two weeks he helped me guys. I contacted one woman, well probably the most of you will not believe this but it is true and i won't lie to you i wouldn't say the name of the woman but this woman helped me she knows everything so i told her only my name and she started explaining you can imagine i was so surprised because she hasn't seen me before she don't know anything about me she's not a doctor i remember she said like the the stuff i i was cared from when I was with my friends in the summer back then in 2017 I couldn't recognize them from time to time and they were like asking me Martin what the hell is happening with you you're just thinking too much man and I was like no I'm not thinking too much something is happening with me so she started explaining that I had injury neck injury the second vertebra was not on the right place and it was like pushing the connections to my brain the energy couldn't go to my brain or if you don't believe in energy the blood the oxygen couldn't go to my brain and that's why all this stuff happened and to be honest with you guys I didn't really believe in the first place that it was something like this but I had to give a try because this was my last opportunity to to fix myself I went back to Bulgaria from the Netherlands I took one week vacation from the college I came here I went to the doctors and I did also MRI and on the MRI picture you could see that my second vertebra wasn't really on the right place that blew my mind guys the, the woman was right and I'm so thankful to her anyways at this situation also guys I totally forgot to tell you no one believed me that was something was happening with me except my girlfriend she was always with me she always supported me and I was explaining her that I am not insane only we met just on a bad time and th this is not me and I will recover and she believed me guys she supported me the whole time she was coming always with me to the doctors here in Bulgaria so I went to a few other doctors and they put the the second vertebra good or on the right place I don't know how you say this again and I didn't see any difference guys I, I went back to the Netherlands and 
I didn't see any difference. I, I was still scared. I, I still didn't know what was happening with me. It, it was like so scary because from time to time, I don't know if you're going to believe me, but it was like when I speak to someone, I was speaking good. No one could understand that something was happening with me, but it was so scary because it was like I'm sitting next to the conversation and I was looking at myself and at, at the other man and it was, it, it was insane guys. So I called the woman again and she told me that I had to wait for two months, at least two months and then I will be completely fine. And guess what guys, after two months, two months and a half, I was completely good. I was healthy. I was so happy. And that was the scariest thing of my life guys. You can see this tattoo here. It, it says Deus Caritas Est. I don't know if you pronounce it like this. This is Latin and it says God is love. I know that usually I don't speak about this spiritual stuff because not all of you believe in this stuff but this is just from my own experience and, and I don't want to bring you my opinion, my thoughts to you. Just I want to share this with you guys so that you know what I've been through and just to know my biggest injury. And in February guys when I was completely good I, I started training again and it was the best feeling ever well I was still training when I had the, the, the neck injury but in February I knew I, I was completely good and I was ready to train again hard training and that actually brought me to life I didn't surrender even though I I wanted to surrender for for a few times guys because when you don't know what is happening with you and you know you have a problem and you don't know how to solve it so many stuff are happening in your head and you you just don't don't know what to do and do you know what guys what is really funny how life works from a small kid i always thought that the scariest thing in this world is to to, to lose your memory and that happened to me life just wanted to show me that everyone can go through that and life wouldn't give you something that you cannot go through it and from time to time guys we always think if we buy something we will be very happy for example now if I build my own gym I'll be the happiest person alive but guys why do we need to get something to be happy we can be already happy if we are healthy even though we are not healthy we can be still happy guys and from that moment my mind changed a little bit and I understood that happiness is good healthy life Right now I just thought of something, a message to you, to all of you who are watching these videos. First of all, I wanted... This, this is getting so emotional, guys. <laughs> oh my god. I wanted to tell you that I am thankful to all of you guys who are watching this channel because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this, what I'm doing right now. I love to stand in front of the camera, speak to you. You're giving me the power, guys. I read every single comment of you. Even though I don't like it or don't heart it or don't reply on it, I read all of them guys don't worry about that we all together are the dream of power and the dream of power is real please guys let me know in the comments down below do you like these stories and do you want to hear more stories from me like comment subscribe and embrace dream of power